Hi and welcome back guys. So in today's video I was lately watching a lot of Wired autocomplete interviews and I had a thought and I was interested in seeing what people google about tattoos. At first off I thought that people will be googling just regular things like how much tattoos cost how painful tattoos are, but I was still interested, so I decided I should do like an autocomplete, not interview, but like an autocomplete, me answering auto. I'm basically Google today. <laughs> I'm Google for tattoos today. Not that I know everything about tattoos, I obviously do not, but I'm gonna try to answer the autocomplete uh, searches for tattoos if that makes any sense and i really hope no one's gonna sue me for this and i give all the, the credit idea and to wire that's their thing but i was just so interested and i just really wanted to make a video on it i thought it would be interesting for you guys as well so please don't sell me and i'll leave like their link in my description if you want to know what these interviews are they're really cool i really love the concept though uh, i'm just going to be googling like phrases about tattoos and just seeing what comes up and answering them as i go along so let's see how this goes shall we so the first one is can tattoos can tattoos kill you? At first off, I want to say no, but then again, if you get a really bad tattoo at a really bad place with a really dirty needle, get a terrible, terrible infection, maybe, but I don't really think you can die. I'm not an expert at this. I have never tried doing anything like that, but I don't think tattoos can kill you. Like. No, not, not, not the tattoo itself. Like, if you can be killed because of tattoos. Oh, that's dark. No, I don't know. <laughs> Just no. Um, no. <laughs> Next, can tattoos fade? Yes, they can fade over time, either due to... Uh, old age or just not taking care of them pretty well. I think there was like a topic about how tattoos don't actually fade, it's just your skin. I don't know how to formulate that correctly, but like in general words, tattoos do fade either with time or with a uh, bad taking care of it or stuff like that, but it's just, it's just what happens. Can tattoos smudge? interesting question. No, tattoos don't smudge. It's not like a marker painted on your skin that you can just like smudge out. So they don't smudge, really. Yeah, I don't think I understood this, but moving on. Can tattoos be removed? Yes, they can. With laser. A lot of it depends on what you're getting lasered. But yes, tattoos can be removed. Can tattoos fall off? Not really, no. <laughs> not like fully just separate itself from your body, that doesn't happen. But they can like have fall offs, like little bits and pieces of it when it's healing, like the scab falls off and with it comes the ink and then it just leaves a skin gap, a skin break in there, a little scar. That can happen, but the tattoo fully can't fall off. Next up, we have do tattoos. Do tattoos hurt? Yes, they do. Do tattoos fade? Already answered this. Yes, sometimes with time they do fade. Do tattoos peel? No, they don't. Or they do. Like if you're if you're sitting in the sun with a tattoo and your skin starts peeling off, yeah, but the tattoo itself, no. The, like the scab can peel when it's healing but you shouldn't peel it. <laughs> and the next after that, we have do tattoos scab. Yes, they do when they're healing. If your tattoo is scabbing when it's not healing, it's weird because it means it's healing. You don't have just scabs out of nowhere. Do tattoos stretch? Uh, yes, actually they do. Uh, not that I have experienced it on myself, but I have seen ladies on the internet who have tattoos all of all over their bodies or have tattoos on their stomachs and they get pregnant I've seen their tattoos stretch and come back to their original shape It always also depends on the person's skin type and sometimes uh, You can get like stretch marks in between a tattoo uh, I don't know how that is fixed. I haven't I like I think it's possible I haven't really seen it but the most of the ladies that I have seen being pregnant and have tattoos on their stomach, the tattoos look very fine after birth. Your skin stretches, so the tattoo stretches with the skin, but tattoos do stretch. Do tattoos bleed? When you're getting a tattoo, it can bleed. Not a lot, 
but a little bit. Yeah, that's completely normal. Next up, we have how tattoos are. How tattoos are done. In a perfect scenario, tattoos are done at a tattoo studio that is perfectly qualified with good artists in there. They have the perfect machinery and everything ready and prepared for a tattoo session, everything sterile and clean. But the tattoo itself is done with a tattoo machine or if it's a different type of tattoo execution, which is like stick and poke or stuff like that. But still, it always involves a needle and ink and the needle is just puncturing your skin and putting the ink inside of one of your skin layers. And so that's how the tattoos are done in a short word. How tattoos are priced. It depends on the place, it depends on the artist always. Then next up, it depends on the piece you're getting, on how long it takes, how big it is. Example for me, my tattoo artist charges per hour. Some tattoo artists charge per piece. It depends, it, like, it's, it depends every time because if you get like a flash deal and they say, well, that tattoo is $40, it's gonna be $40. But if you want something like specific of your own imagination or a tattooer's design that he's drawing up for you and you both don't know how, many, how much time that's gonna take, then you just like sit by the hour. Or if it's a very long set, Session. you can take like book a day or something like that you don't pay per hour it's a bit cheaper but still like you book book a whole day and that's also a certain price and every tattoo prices differently so that's a whole nother topic but something like that how are tattoos permanent when you're getting the tattoo the ink goes into your second skin layer which is called the dermis if I'm not mistaken you have three skin layers in general uh, so the ink stays and goes into the second skin layer and since the process involves skin damaging It means the white blood vessels are involved in that process And so they go to the spot where it's where, where the skin is being damaged and they try and fight the trying to fight the ink or just uh, like uh, they're trying to take it and like dispose it in your bloodstream but since it doesn't really happen and if there were no white blood cells fighting the tattoo it wouldn't stay permanent if i am saying this right or am i just totally wrong but that's what i remember how tattoos are removed the only way that i right now know how to tattoos are being removed i believe there are other technologies being created to remove tattoos with a le much less painful procedure but mainly they're removed with laser the laser itself breaks apart the the ink in your skin and it makes it easier for for your skin or the white blood cells to like take it apart if i'm again talking correctly but ma mainly it's done with laser and with multiple sessions it doesn't take just one session to remove a tattoo it's a very long and painful procedure i haven't had laser myself but i just of what I've heard, I know it's very painful. So next up we have how tattoos can, how tattoos can affect your career. It depends on the place where you are working or the country you're in and what are the laws. For me personally, tattoos will not affect my career because my career is on the art path and everyone in the art path sometimes can look like a total weir total weirdo and that can be totally okay because hey you're an artist <laughs> and that's acceptable but if you'll be working at a bank tattoos can probably affect it or if you're an actor or like a movie star it can affect your career so sometimes you have to get in terms with people on if you want to get a tattoo and if it's even like if you're allowed to get it in a specific place or can it be visible or should it be like totally hidden so it depends you know it depends but nowadays i think a lot of places are becoming more and more open with to people with uh, some amounts of tattoos and sometimes they're completely okay with it everything is opening up to people with body modifications which is, which is great because i think we should be allowed to express ourselves <laughs> how tattoos can be removed how tattoos can be removed already answered that they can be removed by laser how tattoos can get infected Ta -da -da -da. so tattoos can get infected mainly in two ways either it is you getting a tattoo from a very bad place a bad artist that where everything is dirty and not good for your skin while it's getting punctured uh, so it can get infected in the process 
uh, like you can catch something, which is very bad and unrecommended. So get a tattoo at a very qualified place. Or when you are healing it, like you can get a tattoo uh, at a good place, but in the healing process, you don't take care of the tattoo at all, or you do everything you're not supposed to do while the tattoo is healing, so it can get infected in that process. So something like that. This was very interesting, actually. There are a couple of good questions that I didn't kind of expect to see or answer, but that was interesting. And I hope this was interesting for you. Let me know when you thought about this video, video idea, <laughs> trying to be... Did you hear that? I think my neighbors are moving their furniture. Anyway, yeah, I really hope you liked this video. Leave me a like, subscribe, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.